Hello, everyone. This is Muriel, Miss Cooper's Coop, and welcome to another episode of Miss Cooper's Coop After Dark. This video is designed for those late night scrappers that need a little pick me up to keep them going, to get that project finished, to get that layout done. So I am here pretty late. It's 12.02. But I got a late start tonight because it was Friday night and my daughter and I uh, went to dinner. We went to the Olive Garden. We had a wonderful dinner and we had lots of conversation. She is 17 and um, it's just been she and I since day one. So we have this thing we do on Friday nights. We call Friday Confessions with No Consequence. And this allows us, number one, to keep the communication open. And she is able to share with me something, and, you know, I just kind of let it go. I kind of, you know, I can't um, uh, put any, um, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, get angry about it and um, um, reprimand her. So it started out very simple. Friday night came, and I said, do you have anything you want to share with me? And she said, yes, there was a cup that you had in the kitchen. You know, it was like a real, a big cup. It was like black and orange. So I'm trying to think, what is she talking about? She goes, you know, it was like, I think you use it for Halloween. And then I realized it was my favorite Frankenstein mug that I use for the month of October for my coffee. Well, she opened up the cabinet. It fell out, probably because she put it in there wrong. And it broke, and she was afraid to tell me. So she shared it to me that Friday. So it's been little things like that all the way up to um, things like, um, you remember you told me not to sit on the couch because I would do this and that to it. And I said, yes. And she confessed, well, you were right. I did this and that to it, and I cleaned it up. So we have that dialogue, and it works really well for us because I, I think that, you know, teenagers need to be able to talk. And us parents, we need to be able to listen and not all the time react. So that's what we did. So we had a beautiful dinner, and uh, we made a stop off at um, Kohl's and Barnes and & Noble's and Ulta and Old Navy. And then we came home. So I, it's been like I've been here for like two hours. It's so hot in Seattle right now. It's like 85, but that's just like hot. So my craft room is like on fire. But anyway, I want to show you a few things I picked up at Big Lots and Michael's. And then I'm going to do another video and I'm going to attempt to show how I made these beautiful rolled burlap flowers. So let me get started with my Michael's haul. Now, I don't know if you late night scrappers, when you are scrapping, I've uh, gone to Michael and seen the paper, the um, dish towels. Yes, the dish towels. I would never buy dish towels at um, Michael's. I always buy mine at Costco because you can get like 14 of them for some ridiculous price. And they're huge and they're beautiful and they're nice and they're good quality. But these were there. These are the Ashland um, dish towels for $6.99. And Miss Cooper's Coop got them today for $0.69. Cents. You can kind of see the $0.69 right there. $0.69. Cents. And I think these will be great to send in your racks and your swaps. Uh, if you have something that's very um, breakable, you can wrap it in a paper towel. Then the person receiving a paper towel can use it in their craft room. You know, sometimes we get our hands uh, wet with glue. Sometimes we get them wet with, um, if we're doing Mod Podge or just using a spray bottle or anything like that. And these are really cool. These have like a linen bottom to them, like a... Um, pillowcase and then it has this cute little pattern and then they are um cotton the rest of the way so i picked up six of them they were 69 cents each these bottoms are yellow with this pretty yellow pattern yellow and green and then these orange ones so pretty different to buy at michael's huh something i wouldn't think of for crafty but it'll work um, I went down the flower aisle, in still in the Ashland aisle. I just stayed in the Ashland aisle, and I found these really pretty dried flowers. These are orange. They are whimsical. And my first thought was if I could get those um, plastic bulbs 
and shove about that much inside of it and make a beautiful um, globe for Thanksgiving. Um, like I do at Christmas time, I stuff those bulbs with um, netting and decorate them for the holidays. But I picked this up, and these were like $2. And um, this green one as well. Sorry for the crinkle wrinkle, but you need to wake up anyway. So here, look at that. It's like beautiful, beautiful blue. It's just like a thicket, you know, like a thicket that, that Rapunzel or Cinderella had to go through. So these were two bucks. They normally were seven ninety nine, and this is um, the um, Ashland Isle where everything is eighty percent off. And so help me, if I go back there one day and they're ninety percent off, I'm gonna be quite upset. Then I picked this up. It's just a bling, bling, bling. It's called the Berry Teardrop, and they are really pretty. Beautiful, big, um, like ten petal flower and then there's also these teardrops here purple and pinks really nice and very shiny and reduced ladies and gents and then some flowers I saw these I normally don't buy flowers at Michael's but you know what I like the daisies I like using the daisies around October somehow when you're doing Halloween cards Halloween projects and you have a daisy in there amongst the greens and the purples. It almost looks like a wild flower, like a weed almost, which would definitely uh, set the tone for um, that uh, type of style card you're looking for. Um, I just thought they were nice. There were several different sizes, and basically I would be like snatching one off and kind of cutting that plastic off of it and just putting them beside uh, other flowers on my project. So I picked up a whole nice little bunch of these and again these were in the Ashland aisle for 80% off. I found these gorgeous red ones. These are almost like the punch I have. They are five petals and I don't know if you've seen the tutorial by Rosanna. She does a flower. Actually let me get up and get the flower and show you because that was the first thing huh, that came to my mind. So this is Rosanna's flower, and again, she has a tutorial on it. It's a rose, but it's done using that big punch, the, the five-petal punch. So um, I thought about making some using these or just using them for the holiday. They're very red, they're very different, they're not poinsettia style, but um, I'm just, you know, thinking ahead right now. So I picked up a bunch of these, and again, these were 80% off as well. And the next flower I got was this huge um, white, I don't even know what it is, you know, I'm not a flower girl, but the petals are really big. They have these plastic rubber stamens in them that I don't care for. But I thought to stamp those, I've been watching uh, the Rob and Laura's channel, Laura. Hi, Laura. And how she stamped these flowers. And I think Rosanna did something with a big flower. So these here are about five of them. So I thought I'd put them to the side, but then I would try either with a script stamp or a music note stamp or something. So I'm going to play around with those. And then I found, let's switch, oh no, I still got something else from Michael's. I got these two cute little um, pots and they say grow on them here. And I thought they would be cute for a stick pin garden, right? So we can just like put the hot, put the rocks down here to have some weight and then make that big cushion and then shove it in here and maybe stop it. We'll stop it at the top because then you'll be able to see the word grow, if, especially if the inside is white. And then you'll have your handle and then there'll just be stick pins growing in there like crazy. So I picked up two of those. They had two more, but I didn't care for the color. So this is like a distressed blue, light blue, and white. 
And then at Big Lots, I found these skillets. Now, I don't know if these are to be used for cooking or just decor, but I thought de I thought decor for sure because you cannot cook with these little things. So anyway, I thought, hmm, there's a handle where it can hang from your scrapbook wall. Something can go here. The inside can be altered. The outside can be altered. And then this part here can be changed as well. So, I got two of those. This is green and red. And they weren't too pricey, but um, I thought they would be something different. I also picked up a clock. Yes, a decorative wall clock. And I'm going to show you what inspired me to buy this clock. I, you know I have this book. I absolutely adore Miss Christine Mackey, or McKay because her ideas are just inspiring and I have made several things um, already from this book. Remember that I was inspired and I made my um, applique box and I am in the process of making this canister not with the same paper but something similar and then I saw this clock here so, I'm inspired to uh, make a clock, whimsy, whimsy wall clock. It'll look different, but it inspired me. I don't have a clock in my room. The only thing I have that tells me what time it is, is this little thing here. And you can see, it's quarter after twelve, scrappers. So, keep on going. Keep on innovating and making those projects beautiful and bringing them to some closure. So that's the only thing I have in terms of a clock. And it has no character. It doesn't, it doesn't say this is the coop house. So I'm going to do something with this. I'm sure I'm going to look on the back and take it apart and change that face. Nothing too bulky because the letters won't move. You know, the, the hands won't move if these are too bulky. So that's going to be my next project and it's all black around here and it's pretty chunky as you can see so I definitely can put stuff around the outside. So that will be next that I do. So um, I'm going to put all this stuff away and when I come back, remember I'm going to try to show you how to create um, this burlap flower. Now I know there was another young lady who made some. She emailed me. I'm going to look her up because she made some that were gorgeous. They were like that fat. Okay. And I like a burlap fat uh, flower that fat too. But I also like this size. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to get this glue gun heated up. So you ladies, I want you to just go grab a cup of coffee or get yourself a glass of water or stand up and walk around and be ready because Miss Cooper's Coop After Dark will be right back. Okay, bye now.